Hi guys, welcome back. Hope you're having a good day today. Good day for me. Good day for me. I uh, got off work, got my workout done, chilled out for a bit, got supper in. So it was all good. All good. 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 Good day. Big paycheck on Wednesday because I work overtime and I get holiday pay. Yeah. Anyway, let's uh let's get into what I'm doing today. And this is gonna be funny. Um I had somebody, and I wrote your name down, uh, John PV six four nine eight, uh, comment in one of my videos, and he asked me just to pick one for life. And I thought you probably thought I wasn't going to reply to you because it's been a couple days, uh, or that I didn't see it. I did. I didn't reply because I thought I'm going to do a video on it because that's a little more in depth than just a couple couple words, right? Um, first off realistically i couldn't do that i i you know i would get bored so quick honestly i mean you know it, it's just not happening but hypothetically let's do a little a little imagination play on this will we so hypothetically say we get a world totalitarian government and the dictator in charge hates fragrances or decrees that it's a waste of resources and we're only allowed one fragrance First off, I'd probably be the guy to start an underground movement, resist this movement, <laughs> fragheads unite. And, but let's just say, okay, that I know it's stupid, it's foolish, but let's go with it. it this is all fun, right? It's going to be a, hopefully a fun video. Um, so I've thought about it the last couple of days, and thank you for making me think about something I never thought about, really. Dick. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's cool, but... Uh, So I narrowed it down to five. I know that's not what you asked for. You asked for one. I'll narrow it down to one, but I want to show you the five I picked and then I'll pick one from them. And there was a, some criteria that had to be met. I thought that would make it even, you know, although they we're living in a fantasy here, we got to keep some semblance of reality, right? So first off, obviously I have to like it. So if I don't like it, then why would it be my one? Um, Secondly, most other people have to like it. Now, it's not going to please everybody. I know that. But the majority of people have got to like these fragrances. Or at least think they're not offensive. But most of them think they're good. Um, something I have to be able to wear all year. Which was kind of hard. Because a lot of my favorite fragrances you would consider more fall, wintertime fragrances. You know, heavy gourmands and woods and spices and incense. Uh, so that was kind of hard. Um, so, you know, stuff like uh, By the Fireplace, Calm Rush, Stronger With You Intensely, uh, Savage Elixir, Lamal Elixir, some of my favorites uh, are out. Uh, they still have to be available right now as I'm talking about this, and I believe all five of these are. And probably still available in future. Now, nobody knows what the future holds. All of these can be discontinued tomorrow. Nobody knows. But we're just more than likely they're going to be around, right? So so let's let's go about how I kind of decided. The second, second thing I really did was I wanted to keep nostalgia out of it, you know, because I love Old Spice. I love English leather. I love uh, preferred stock. I love chaps. Would I wear them? Want to wear them as my only fragrance for the rest of my life? No, no. They're 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 ones I reach for more for just a personal uplifting kind of feel usually because they're super nostalgic. Fahrenheit's another one. I, well, I really do like Fahrenheit. I don't think I'd want to wear it for the rest of my life, and I think it's a little hard to wear all year round. It's a little at least the older bottle I have. It's a little heavy. Um, for this, the dead heat of the summer. So, that was kind of all the criteria I went with with it. And these are the, and it was hard. I mean, I, I hummed and pummed over this for a few days now and, and really thought about it. You know, I'd find it entering my mind at work and stuff. Like, oh, no, I gotta, I gotta pay attention to work. But, uh, yeah. So, and this can change. All of these could change. They could change by the end of the day, and they probably will. But as of right now, as I'm filming this video, 
I'm going to give you the five that I had to pick one from. And then I'll pick the one. And these are in no order or anything. First one is Sauvage Eau de Parfum. Now I know people are be like, oh my God, it's so basic, bitch, blah, blah, you know, whatever. It's nice. It's pleasing. Most people like it. Uh, it's got that nice citrus and pepper, a lot of broxin, but smoothing out even a hint of sweetness is that vanilla in the base. Uh, out of the first three Sauvages, not including, of course, the Elixir or O Forte, uh, this is my favorite. This is my favorite. And it can be worn all year round. You kind of dial it sprays back a little bit in the summer, but you know, one or two sprays in the summer, dead heat of the summer is more than enough. But yeah, Sauvage Eau de Parfum. Just gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, YSL Loam, the original Loam. It's that popping, effervescent ginger and spice with that kind of, like I said, cardamom to me gives a bit of a tea vibe, and this gives a bit of that tea vibe. Uh, just a gorgeous scent. Some nice florals, just a gorgeous scent. Um, yeah. Explorer. You can substitute Aventus or any Aventus clone you like. Or inspired by fragrance. I like Explorer the best out of all of them. While it does have that Aventus vibe, it's it's just, it's just it's a little different than that. You know, a lot of you know, people say pineapple, it's more citrus fruit off the top. Pineapple like, but citrus. You know, some definitely some Ambroxin in there, some woods, some musk. Just a very this is a bottle that came out when it first came out right so i don't know about any reformulations but this bottle is almost beast in its performance and longevity and stuff and it's just a super pleasing super pleasant scent you can wear all year round why not why not um one of my newer acquisitions but really quickly became one of my favorite fragrances obviously made this list and definitely my favorite fougere of all time and that's uh Tom Ford Beau de Jour. Yeah, it's got that uh, Fougere barbershop s a lot of clean, soapy, clean lavender, some woods and spices. But it's got this vanilla that a lot of it's not an overly sweet vanilla. It is a little sweet, but it's a powdery sweet kind of vanilla. It's not overly sweet. Like I said, but, and it's just a gorgeous fougere and you can't go wrong with a fougere. Um, I love fougeres. I love, this is by far my, I haven't smelled every fougere. As a matter of fact, I'm looking at getting a, oh, I forget what it is, Pen, Penhaligon Centurial, I think it's called or something like that. And or uh, the Burning Barbershop one, I forget what it's called now, I'd have to look it up, but. There are two that interest me I might pick up shortly. Because I just love fougeres. And I had to pick a fougere. And this is by far my favorite fougere of all time right now. And one of my favorite fragrances. If you like fougeres, by the way, guys, give this a try. I won't say buy it because it's expensive, but give it a try. And last but not least, straight up Lamal. Another fougere, but a different take on that. This lacks the spice in woods. This is more of your... Again, clean, fresh lavender with mint and vanilla. Uh, what a gorgeous scent Lamal is. It's still wearable today. I don't care what anyone says. It, people like it. It gets compliments, all that stuff. And, it, you know, this doesn't perform like my original bottle, but I'm still getting six, seven hours out of it, a couple hours projection. So it is what it is. So let's run over them real quick and... Then I'll pick five because I've got to think about it for a second more. So the first one was Sauvage Parfum. Uh, yeah. Next one was Loam, Yves Saint Laurent. Then Explorer, Mont Blanc. Tom Ford, Beau de Jour. Lamar, 
John Paul Gucci. I'm going to get you back. Um, this is real hard to pick. And, and before I did this video, I, I already had picked. And truth be told, I had picked. What do you guys think I picked? Give me a second. And write it down in the comments what you thought I was going to pick. And if you were right or wrong. And don't lie. This is just for fun, right? I bet a lot of you thought I'd pick this. I don't think most of you would think I'd pick this because I don't talk about it a whole lot, but most of you probably thought I was going to pick this. And this was definitely one of the ones I considered hardcore. Before I did this video, this was going to be the one I picked. I loved it. But now that I... Yeah. So it's down to these two. Whatever one I pick, I'm going to break my own heart. So... One more smell. You know, let's do a spray on skin. I'm not going anywhere today. Just a. Oh my God, that's so good. So, just pops off your skin. Yeah, I'm going to pause this for a minute and I'll come back. i got to let these sit for a minute and smell them. Okay, it's been about 20 minutes, believe it or not. And I'm still having a hard time deciding. But I got to pick one. They're both so... I mean, all five of them are great, but these two are just so... This is so uplifting and fresh and, and fun. and mm. But the Tom Ford, man, that boat is sure. It's got a classic, I said, a classic masculine vibe. I feel I could wear it. Well, I could wear them both in all kinds of places. And the, 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 the YSL, I could even dress up. But if I had to dress up, I got to go with the Tom Ford. It just beats it by that much. I mean, a hair. Yeah, yeah. Why it sounds good too, though. Yeah, one for life, guys. As of right now, I'm going with Tom Ford Bow Short. Just a gorgeous fragrance. Uh, it is a fougere, but it's not super fougere. It's got hints of that barbershop, like I said. It's got a little bit of that Tom Ford funk to it. Yeah, kind of dirtiness, earthiness, or whatever you want to call it. It's nice, that muskiness. Animalic, whatever you want to call it. It's got a bit of that, but it's not overblown in it. It's got a mint off the top too, geranium, mint, whatever, and a freshness, but also that depth that a, with the, the spices and the vanilla and the woods. You know, it, it I think it could be just that much better than the YSL. So there's your answer, my man. And anybody else who wanted to know, if I had to pick one for life, it'd be the Tom Ford. And I think I gave reason, pretty good explanation as to why. Uh, basically, this fits all my criteria. I like it. Most people are going to like it. Like I said, most people like clean, fresh, soapy kind of fragrances from a barbershop. This has it. But it also gives you a spicy, woody, vanilla kind of vibe to it, too. <laughs> Even slightly incensey, which... I like personally and I can wear it all year. It's still available as of right now, probably be available in the future. Again, nobody knows what happens there, but, and I just feel I could wear this, though I could wear the YSL everywhere. I could wear this just a bit better in a 
more formal situation, you know what I mean? Do you want a scent? Yeah, I guess my love of old school and fougeres came out in this one because I gotta go with the Tom Ford Beau Jour. I really do. I really do. A couple more Tom Fords that I included on it were the uh, that I almost included was the Grey Vetifer. Uh, the new Tom Ford, but I haven't owned it long enough. The Ombre, the Ombre leather, or whatever, old Ombre leather. Um, even Costa Azora, that's been growing on me, but they didn't make the final cut. But they, they were close. So, yeah. You know, a lot of people can't afford Tom Ford. I know that's expensive and all that stuff, but if you can, if you like Fougeres, try Beau de Jour. If you like it, save up for it. I don't know of any clones of it. I, I heard uh, David off Zeno, which is another one I'm getting shortly, I think, is pretty similar, and it's like 30 bucks. so, but... <sighs> Can't go wrong with any of these five, honestly. Uh, but if you like Fougeres, and this this is, like I said, a Fougere with quite a, quite a twist, actually. Uh, give it a try. But anyway, guys, that's my answer to your question. Uh, John PV6498. Tom Ford, Beau All right, my man. And everybody else, thanks for watching. And I'll be back later. Peace, love, be good to each other, and be good to yourselves. And what is your number one? Everybody list it for me. I want to know. I just want to know.